How's it going guys? We are back on another video here and this video is going to tell you how to get power of collectibles uh, in NHL 23 HUD. There's actually a secret one as well. I did make a video on it previously but if you didn't see it already I'll mention it again in this video. So hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. But let's get into the video now. Alright so here we go. Here we go. So power of collectibles. You're gonna need them right? And I'm going to tell you the best ways to get them, and there's, again, a free one. So, everyone needs power collectibles, right? I mean, everyone has X-Factor players. Everyone might have a potential icon as well. Like, I have, I need to upgrade players. Hillary Knight, I need to upgrade her. Two, four. So, that's four power-ups right there. Uh, I'm not sure if Ovi, does Ovi need one? Yeah, he does. So, that's another, so that's six. Uh, Matt, I think, needs one as well. That's also another, so that's eight. And then, yeah, so eight so far. Yeah, eight. I need eight power collectibles right now to max it on my team, which I could I could definitely find a way. But uh, I mean, obviously, I have an unlimited amount of coins right now. But here's what you want to do, okay? First piece of advice for power collectibles is to make them uh, when cards are very low. Okay, so for example, right, power collectibles in general. So you can make them two different ways, right? So. Uh, you can make a power of collectible from trading in 40 just gold players, right? We got that. Uh, or 25, 80 plus cards. So my best advice for this is you want to, if you're going to make this set, you're going to want to buy these gold cards when the market is down. Now, when is the market down, right? When, when are 80 plus is not going for as much? Well, for the most part, it's when a brand new event starts or when rewards come out on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. or squad battle rewards on Thursdays at 5 because those are tradable rewards and that is when people actually open a lot of packs and that's a better chance of tradable cards being in the item shop and people want to sell them, right? And they want to get their coins quick. So, yeah, I think it's better to definitely always buy, buy gold cards to make power collectibles because for the most part, Power of collectibles uh, are usually very expensive, right? So that's something to keep in mind uh, as well. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is uh, one of those free power of collectibles you can get, though, right? So people don't really think about it. And they don't know this. A lot of people, if you don't play World of Chell, but there is a way to get a free power up collectible, right? So all you have to do is, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is go to the World of Chell, uh, right, for this. And, and you don't have to play a crazy amount. You really, really don't at all. So... Essentially, uh, what you need to do is you need to get to player level 10, okay? So once you get to player level 10 in World of Shell, you will get a free power-up collectible pack. So you get the power-up collectible, and you'll also, I believe, get a few gold players as well. I think a few 80-plus players. So uh, it's it's pretty nice. And, and actually, in World of Shell, again, a little, a little secret, even before I go to other ways... In World of Chell, the more you play, you actually do get a lot of hot rewards. I think it's like every like 10 levels or 20 levels uh, at a certain point. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm a level uh, 49. I believe probably when I hit 50 or Prestige, I'll get another hot pack reward. But at a level 10, you get a power up collectible, and that's very nice, all right? Now, let's go back to hot and uh, another huge way. It's really a simple way. And again, this is an obvious one. It's not really a secret here. But, uh, you know, if you guys have a lot of power up guys, you know, the best advice for you really would be to play Hot Champs, okay? Because Hot Champs, you, it's really not that hard to get power of collectibles. So, for example, right, guys? For example, uh, when you get into Hot here, you know, it takes 20 years, unfortunately, to load. But here we go. You go into Hot Champs. You can see right now the rewards for Hot Champs and, and, our, and their collectibles, all right? So here we go. So collectibles and Hot Champs, uh, you, they start really getting them at uh, win number one. Three gets you two, so five gets you two, and then seven gets you three. So let's put it like this, guys. If you're able to go seven and 13, which is really not that much of a challenge, you still get three champs collectibles. So so in my case, guys, I need eight, right? I need eight to power up my team, all right? So that's one week, and I get three. So I get three out of the eight that I need to upgrade my players, Okay. So that's before any rivals rewards as well, where you can actually trade in your gold cards to make power collectibles, or you can buy the gold players with the coins you've taken from your rivals rewards or you've pulled from great, you know, great cards, whatever that may be. That's a way to really do it, all right? So for example, I mean, I, I have 
typically 11 wins is a guarantee for me, right, in champs, for, for the most part. Like, I'll, I'll get that, right? And you really only need 11, right? Like, you don't need to go for that 13. If you get 11 and you're, like, 11 and 5, you don't need to play anymore, realistically, because, you know, you know, honestly, you might be saving yourself some points because you actually earn less points uh, in rivals, and champs games count for rivals as well. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind as well. But... Champs reward sets. I mean, the power ups. It's it's definitely the meta. I mean, it really is. Like if you if you have a lot of power up guys, I mean, you simply you simply want to be trading in those collectibles for the power up collectibles. I mean, because it can really add up quickly. I mean, if you get the five per week, I mean, really, that's simple. That's simple. That's two weeks. I max out all my guys, right? And again, that's before any rivals or squad battle rewards as well. So there you go. I mean, there's a lot of ways to make power to get power up collectibles. I mean. You know, again, I don't really recommend, uh, you know, buying them because, again, they, they kind of go for a lot. Uh, unless you really get, like, a steal in the marketplace for whatever reason, that's probably the only way I'd do it. But hope this video helps some of you guys out uh, with some power-up collectible challenges. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es. Enjoy Discord, talk to me, follow, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.